You're wrong on so many levels, but you don't know Jack Beep, I should report this video as spam useless. Why do I want to punch myself in the face when I listen to you? So the majority of you guys love me, but there are also those of you who hate me and I love particularly reading their comments because according to them, I am not a game developer. So let's go through some of these comments, have a nice laugh and see why I'm a so bad game developer. So I'm going to read the first comment, which is, and I'm going to put it over here also on the screen and it says, you're wrong on so many levels. It's just like a broken phone. A guy makes a tutorial, he saw from another guy, he saw from another guy and so on. You have a working demo, but you don't know Jack Beep. Data is encrypted. Come on, really? Yada, yada, yada. You see what he says over here. So this is on my tutorial for data encryption and saving data in Unity. And I said, and he put that in quotes, data is encrypted. This is what I said in the video because I was using binary IO. I really do not understand what he means by this. Like data is not encrypted or whatever. If you just Google binary IO data encryption, you will see that the data is encrypted. You even have a function encrypt data or encrypt like that. I, I'm gonna put it right here and you're going to see that or over here, I don't know, wherever. But anyways, I'm going to put it on the screen and you will see that. But I really don't understand what this guy means. Like watching a tutorial from another guy, from another guy, he probably thinks that I just copy pasted this tutorial, which is not the case. I mean, I saw examples online, put something together and throw a tutorial. And besides the point of this tutorial is just to show you, to explain to you so that you can learn. And the last step or what he said, did you even finish a single game? Why the beep are you making tutorials on YouTube? Actually, I did. I published a few mobile games on Google Play Store. After that, I started making tutorials. Not like I got into the tutorial creating right away, but even so, even so, there are a lot of YouTubers who didn't publish a game who actually create good content that you can learn from. So I don't see the point over here. Anyways, moving forward on the next comment. I'm interested in this coding player's movement. After a bit, I realize your own code does not work when tested. So character and controller is a little bit far. We'll come on until I find, or unless I find someone that actually can code. Okay. So he tried my tutorial. He didn't make it work and I cannot code now. Uh, have you thought about that? Maybe it's your own fault that you didn't get things to work. So just go and redo the thing. Go and download the project. That's why I provide the projects for you to download. It's not, it's not my fault that you cannot follow the tutorial and just, you know, make it work. So that doesn't make me a bad coder. But according to you guys, it did. It does. It did. It does. Anyways, moving on to the third question. It says it's crashed. It's useless tutorial because if you put code in the shown so-called tutorial, your app will crash all the time. I made it so many times and it crashes all the time. I should report this video as spam useless. If you don't know how to code, not so awesome toots, why pretend? Well, I pretend to code so that you watch my tutorials and I don't know, I apparently get a lot from it. I don't know. This is on my tutorial about monetization and monetization is especially not that simple to understand for beginners. I assume that this guy is a beginner. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna be, oh, you just assumed. Yes, I just assumed that he's a beginner because if you already know how to code, if you created a game, if you know how object-oriented programming works, you will understand how to implement ads in your game. The issue with these tutorials is that a lot of beginners come and they just want to implement ads for, I don't know which reason in their game that they just probably, cloned from that tutorial as well. So not so awesome toots. It's not my fault again. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the fourth comment. And Tani said, one guy mentioned to me memory management. It's memory management with C++. Now I know where memory management issue came from. This video, all caps rage, dude. Good game. Don't quit. Person who said that has little programming skill. Okay. So me mentioning programming or actually memory management gets me to the point where I have little programming skills. Uh-huh. Okay. If you just Google C++ memory management, you will see, and you can read about that. Basically C++ has pointers, no other programming language that I use. I don't know if other programming language, because I didn't use every programming language, but I use Swift, Java, C sharp. They don't have pointers because references and pointers are different. Other programming languages have references and there is some management in memory that you have to do with C++. You can just Google that and see for yourself. So, uh, little programming skills. I didn't invent memory management in C++. I just, you know, 
learn about that online. So <laughs> moving forward on the fifth comment, put an image of another game to illustrate your poor tutorial. What a shame, but it don't surprise me. Okay, this was put on my tutorial creating the first person shooter and survival game. And apparently the image for the thumbnail that I use that I'm going to put over here or whatever is not the same as you see in my poor tutorial. I will put the images to compare over here, the image from the game and the image that I put on the thumbnail. The thumbnail is not 100% from the game taken, but it's basically the same thing. You see a forest, which you have in the game. You see a person with a gun, which you have in the game. You see a zombie. So I don't, I, let's just move forward, man, because I don't know what this guy wanted to say. Next question. You could also just use the parallax background node to simply set the width at which to repeat the background or repeat the background without all this unnecessary code. Uh, in the video, I was teaching code, okay? In This is for Godot Engine and for my tutorial about Parallax, Corelli Infinite Background Effect in Godot. Okay, you can use the node that will simulate that, but I was teaching code. I was showing people how to do that in code to explain to them how they can understand and use code. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So that doesn't make me a bad programmer, does it? But he didn't even mention that. But Still, I'm going to assume he thinks I'm a bad programmer. Moving forward, why do I want to punch myself in the face when I listen to you? Now, these are, I love these comments. I don't know. You you can, I, I don't know why, man. Just, if you do that, make sure that you record it or whatever, send it to us. I can feature it in a channel. Moving forward, the next, oh, this one is the good one. This is the good one. What is it with game design channels and always calling the player he? Brackies, Black Drum Prod, you, and so many more always refer to the user as he. Have you considered that women and non-binary people exist? Women are half the beep population, but apparently they just cease to exist when a game design YouTuber wants to make a video. I got one word for you. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Moving forward with the... This is the last question. I don't know. This video could have been three minutes. Stop wasting our time by repeating same things just to get to 10 minute mark. Instead, you can find more things to talk and put them in one video. Dude, if I don't get to 10 minutes mark, who's going to pay my bills? So I need to make those ads. That's why I need to repeat things over and over again. And I'm going to put this repeat over and over again, over and over again, over and over again, over and just to get this video to 10 minute mark so that you can watch ads and I get money and I can eat and create more tutorials with that can be three minutes, but I make them 10. So <laughs> moving forward, hey man, can you just stop? Can you just stop saying voila? Every time you do something, it just tests my anxiety. This is the last question, and I wanted to end it with this one because what I wanted to point out to people who actually want to learn, I Cannot say that my tutorials are perfect. Maybe I do things, maybe I say something that you don't like, maybe I have my words that you don't like or how I pronounce them, but that doesn't matter, you're here to learn. If you want to benefit from the tutorial, then just, you know, get over it. I mean, I'm giving you free content where I teach you something and for a lot of my free content, people charge money. So uh, yeah, at least you can just, you know, ignore the voila and there you go, your anxiety will not be tested, okay? So yeah, basically that's all there is to it. Thank you guys for loving me and hating me, I guess, I assume, I don't know. Anyways, it was fun reading these comments. Please bring more. I'm assuming this video is gonna get all the hate and people are going to be like, technically there is no memory management C++. Well, bring it on, I'm gonna create a video for your comments. So uh, yeah, if you wanna learn how to make games, check out my Ultimate Game Development Academy and um, that's all I have for this video. Take care. If you like this video, don't stop now, keep learning. Click on these videos that are on my side that are specifically selected for you. So just click on one of these videos and continue watching. It crashed, it's useless tutorial because if you put code shown in the so-called 